All right, I am long uh, UNCY at 118, 2,500 shares. Do it. Just immediately, we just got out of the last trade and then this trade bang candled. This one is really close to highs too. I say really close. I mean, it's six cents away on a $1 stock. I guess that's not that close, but this one might be a little bit of a different scenario than the last trade. That last trade was the uh, kind of smaller aftershock after this huge move and we got a little something out of it, whatever, but... Maybe this one can actually break highs and go. I trade live over on Twitch TV every day. See you there. Just want to see you make the money. Yeah, but every single time I take one of these trades, someone says I should have sold the high. I get it. But, but you don't make the money with this strategy unless you take that haircut off the top, right? You don't make the... Uh, you would never hold that long anyway. You would have sold for like 30, 40, 50 bucks anyway in that trade. There is no just selling the high all the time, of course. Yodak, thank you for the follow. Per appreciate you here on Twitch. All right, UNCY. Oh, okay, okay. We just tested the high. Up 75 bucks. Let's get the uh, daily p &L instead of just this trade. Here's the daily p &L. Remember we made like... What do we make? $38.50, something like that in the last trade, close to that. We touched that high, UNCY. We touched it. You want to get through it and party? Look at the volume you're trading here. Highest volume of the morning by far, too. Here at 8.30 in the morning. I'm going to get through that and party. Or just touch it and roll. Double top and roll. Which one do you want, UNCY? Which one? I will hold you until you make your decision. You, t you go ahead and take your time there, stock. Double fisting trades. We weren't quite in both at the same time, but right after we got out of our last one, we jumped into this one. What would Zach Morris say? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start a what would Zach Morris do uh, uh, channel train. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll? I hope not. I hope not. Volume dried up a bit in this candle. I mean, it's still, it's still 165,000 shares traded on this one minute bar. It's not like dry, but lower than these three bars, of course. Any high a day pops? I think if UNCY gets through 125 and you start to see volume above 125, I think it's going to fly. This thing's the way this thing's uh, made its move, held its gains, and is now testing this high. Definitely a good place to be in right here. Even if I'm wrong, I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm going to be wrong small. I mean, unless it could could just tank on me, I guess. But and if I'm right, it could be right big. also just the strategy so who cares but 17 seconds left in this candle it looked like it might be a sell and roll is the answer oh wait wow five seconds left oh it's really close not a sell okay <laughs> i get to hold you for another minute and see if you want to make that move you fought your way back up uh valiantly in that candle i thought that was going to be the sell i was ready to eat that loss any fight uncy you gave a little fight right after the entrance but nothing since then you're chilling right at my entrance now any fight out of you there stock bbio is lighting my red scanner now yeah bbio hey respect your damn stops right got out of this trade look at the dump it took respect your damn stop losses please 120 volume is uh starting to uh volume starting to roll back over on this still 80,000 shares 78,000 shares in that minute 
bulls were getting interested. Your front side breakout buyers were buying here, thinking it was going to go. But now that it didn't, they're kind of chilling. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Imagine this actually goes now. I like just in the last three seconds of this candle, it saved so it wasn't to sell. And imagine it goes now. Imagine I didn't get saved in this candle and I got stopped here. Like, and then it goes. Like, <laughs> Well, we're up 100 bucks in this trade, but who cares, of course. I'm looking for, you know, four or five, six hundred dollars in this trade, you yeah. <laughs> Hey, high of move test, 124, 125, we're through. Watch the volume now, though. We, we broke that high a day, but is it going to be a fake out candle? Are there buyers above 125 is now the question. Uh, so far, that answer is no. Come on, we got to get the volume above the line. Can't just break it and fake it. You got to prove that uh, people want to buy above it. We're up 150 in the trade. Nice, like, really, really even ticks on this since it's a penny stock. And uh, the penny stock only shows the literal penny. And I bought 2,500 shares. The ticks are so nice and even. What's up with crowd? Is that crowd strike? They have earnings sometime this week. I don't think it was this morning, though. Heavy daily at 125-ish. Uh, here we go. All right. Starting to get some volume. Buyers are coming in above 125 now. We're up 250 in the trade. Jeez Louise. Here we go. Here's the volume above 125. Here's that break and boom I was talking about. I mean, hopefully we are we are getting a nice move right now, but how 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 boomy can we get, huh? Just how boomy can we get? NFTG. What's that? A ticker or an abbreviation? <laughs> I can never tell. <laughs> People put uh, capitalized letters in my chat. I'm really red right now. My uh, That's my camera, I swear. Fix my camera properties. I'm in the middle of a $200 plus dollar trade fixing my camera properties. But Auto white balance on this camera sucks. There. The sun starts to come through my window in my office. It messes up my auto white balance. Candle over candle. Gain still holding. It's good for now. It's good for now. That candle did not make a new high, but that's okay. A little micro pullback, and this candle did make a new high. Here we go. 130. This is your uh, next 10 Ha! <laughs> what was that? I didn't even see it tick up there. I just saw the topping tail. just ripped to 135. Was that real, or did someone just fat finger a horrible fill? <laughs> Feels like someone just got a horrible fill at 135. What the heck? Okay. Let's see if we can get through this uh, 10 cent mark. So we talk about psychological levels, every like dollar mark, every 50 cent mark. On these penny stocks, it's kind of every 10 cents, right? Your dollar 30, your dollar 20, your dollar 40. You. That's how my feels go. Yeah, someone just hit by the ask and got fucked, I think. I think is what just happened on that. <laughs> someone just got screwed. <laughs> My short top ticked it. Did you just get filled short at 135, Dean? That would be sick if you got filled short there. Someone did. I mean, wherever there's buyers, there has to be sellers, right? Stocks don't just... I mean, there's there's always people on both sides of the trade whenever there's a tick in a stock. Whenever there's a trade, there's a buyer and a seller, right? So someone just got short there or exited their position either way. All right, let's see if this wants to candle under candle. The low of this candle is 127. There is uh, 23 seconds left in it. Just joking. Imagine getting short. Top tick the loss at 135, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this candle did is is close. It's even. No, it closed. It closed at the low of this candle. So it's not a sell. It has to be below. 
all right, well, we're still in. Am I going to live to regret that? Am I going to wish that this did close here? Because is this going to roll? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to regret it because I'm following my strategy, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Personally, as long as I follow my strategy, I'm happy. How can you short it when it says not tomorrow? You can't short it in this brokerage. There's no, there's no shares available in this brokerage, but shares are broker by broker, right? You're borrowing those shares from your brokerage. So other brokerages, I'm sure, have shares available in this. Now, the locate fees at this point of the move are probably insanely high because most of the shares are probably already located back here during this move. So, all right, uh, seven seconds. But yeah, every broker is different. Like this isn't, this doesn't mean it can't be borrowed across the market. Like, all right, we are out. We locked in $175 in that trade. Yeah, I sort of had a, I sort of had big dreams for this stock. The 150 push, the real big push through highs. But I mean, I took a $3,000 position and made 175 bucks in what? 10 minutes? What, what am I going to do? Complain about that? Like, 